Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a DWG file that has just the contours, no spot elevations, and no break lines. And we will show you the best workflow for creating a DTM from just contours. Here's the original DWG file that has just the contours. When we import this we don't have any break lines, so our inroads DTM contours will look like this, where it misses the ridges and the valleys of all the break lines. Our job is to create the inferred break lines, which will generate the break lines for us and make a better looking DTM and inroads. Let's begin. Here we're using inroads and microstation, and I've got the DWG file referenced through the reference dialog box with contours.dwg files already referenced. What I'm going to do is create a selection set of that reference, reference file. and then go to my inroads commands and then under the inroads file I'm going to import from surface and I'm going to use the import surface from graphics dialog box. I'm going to give it a surface name, I'm going to call it existing. I'm going to load from the single elements that I have selected and use the element elevations given to me in the DWG file. The C name I'm going to assign to the contours, I'll just call this contour1 the feature style, I have a feature style already created called contour, and this is the key. I want to select contour as my point type. Not break line, not random, but contour. I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm going to hit uh, use the elements and selection set and hit OK, and then close the dialog box. Now what I've done is I've imported the contours into my DTM, so I can turn off the uh, reference display, and then view what I've done so far. I'm going to go to inroad surface and first triangulate the surface. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to take a look at the uh, surface at this point. And I have loaded them as contour point types, but I still don't have any inferred break lines yet. So what it looks like now is if I was to view the contours. You can see here that each contour has been uh, basically just cut off there and it's not picking up the ridges and the valleys like in the original DWG file. So I'm still missing that inferred break lines. What I need to do is add that inferred break line across that ridge. Turn the DWG file reference file back off and then I'm going to go to the uh, generate inferred break lines tool. I want to use the existing surface that I have loaded. I'm going to hit apply and then I can review the results in the surface properties dialog. And you can see here I've got the contour point types and now I have my inferred break lines. So now let's display those contours or triangulate it first so it picks up the inferred break lines. And now I can view the contours. redisplay them in my drawing. They've been updated. And here you can see that I've actually picked up the ridges and the valleys the way it's supposed to be with the inferred break lines. Turn that DWG on just one more time as a check and you can see that it's just about a perfect match in just about every single area there. This concludes a tutorial of importing contours as graphics and then using the contour point type and inferred generate inferred brick lines. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more in visioncad.com.